Howdy, let's take a look at another example that deal with forces and kinematics. So taking a look at number two, it says that an object of mass m is at rest. So the fact that it's at rest means at t equals zero means that your initial velocity is zero. On a frictionless table at a point defined to be the origin, so that's going to be when your x naught and your y naught is equal to zero. Two forces in the plane of the table are applied as shown. Both forces are fixed in the direction shown with the magnitudes given by the following, where c1 and c2 are known constants. Find the object's position as a function of time. And so the first thing that I want to do is I take a look at my vectors, and let's find my force vectors first. The magnitude of f1 is c1, and it's pointed only in the x direction. So f1 is just c1 in the x direction, whereas f2 is at an angle. The x component of f2 is adjacent to my angle, so that's why we're going to take the magnitude, c2t squared cosine theta, in the x direction. And then the y components opposite the angle, so it'll be the magnitude, c2t squared, sine theta. Now, I want to find position. And with a force, I can write my acceleration, because I know acceleration is simply the force divided by mass. And your total acceleration will be the sum of those two accelerations. Therefore, to find acceleration, all I did was I added these two vectors together and divided each by m. And now that I've acceleration, to find velocity, you integrate. And then after you've integrated to find velocity, you integrate once again to find position. 